all our supporters, musicians in the different parts of the world, our viewers, and all of you who are joining us in our Facebook Live. Good evening. Welcome to our 32nd Pasambap Online Workshop. Life is all about happiness and as human beings, social interaction with our fellow beings not only brings happiness, but helps us grow our capacity to learn languages, familiarize ourselves with cultures, we inquire, think, play, and work. We are dependent on social heritage like festivals that makes us who we are, but binds us to pass it on from one generation to another. Festivals have both social and economic angles. Festivals gives us the opportunity to forget all our worries and celebrate the positive side of life, even if it is for a few days or a month long. Festivals act like stress relievers and help us balance our emotions. It also provides positivity in life, an opportunity to reduce friction and brings strange friends and relatives together in a band of love. With this pandemic that we are experiencing, let us continue to celebrate this different festival in the new normal, starting from the Panagbenga Festival of Baguio City. I know you are all excited in the show. Thus, sit back, relax, and enjoy our show. Don't forget to ask questions from our speaker for tonight as she would be introduced by our Pasamba president, Mr. Bombi Costodio. Uh, thank you very much, Ms. Ma Madivit Makadeg of St. Louis University uh, in, in Baguio. Uh, magandang gabi po muli sa lahat po ng mga nanonood ngayon at sa ating mga kamusiko sa isa na namang webinar ng Pasambap. Ito ay 32nd Pasambap Online Workshop. At ang ating um, workshop ngayong gabi ay una sa Philippine Festivals. Ang, ang Philippine Festivals po ay, ay, ay series ng workshops patungkol sa mga iba't ibang piyesta o festival dito sa buong ka, ka, kabayanan o kapuluan ng ating bansa. At ang una natin ay ang panagbenga na dapat nagaganap ngayong panahon ng taon at sa kalsalukuyan ay hindi na muna, ipinagpaliban na muna ito dahil sa ating sitwasyon ng new normal. Ang, ang ating um, panauhin ngayong gabi ay si Ms. Evangeline Paino na Chief of Staff ng Baguio Flower Festival. So siya yung namumuno, siya ang punong abala ng panagbenga. At uh, si Ms. Evangeline Paino po ay tubong uh, Baguio talaga siya. nag sa Lukban Elementary School, St. Louis Girls High School at tinuloy niya ang kanyang uh, college uh, degree in accountancy sa St. Louis University at uh, nag-master's din siya doon ng Science in Business Administration. Uh, naging scholar din siya ng basic culinary, culinary training at International School for Culinary Arts and Hotel Management. Uh, she's been working for over 30 years in various positions uh, and, resp and responsibilities in the tourism, events, and hospitality industry. Ang Baguio Flower Festival Foundation Incorporated ay siyang namumuno as Chief of Staff and member of the Executive Committee since 2013, hanggang sa kasalukuyan, siya isang reserve din ng Philippine Navy uh, Force. Um, bagya po natin gunitain ang kasiyahan na dinutulot sa atin ng maraming taon ang isang napaka-sikat na, na, na event no? dito sa bansa natin na ang panagbenga.
Yan po ang uh, kasiyahan na itinulot sa atin ng panagbenga at uh, syempre yung ating uh, pumaparatan na panda sa na ating napanood na napakagaling tumuktog ay ang St. Louis University Band. Ito ay composite na to ng uh, uh, senior, high school senior at ng uh, college. Uh, ayan po at uh, dahil dyan eh, napa, napaiting ang ating uh, ang ating excitement no dito sa sa ating mga papakinggan ngayong gabi mula kay Miss Vance Paino. Miss Vance, please take it away. Magandang magandang gabi ho sa inyong lahat na naririto ngayon online uh, para sa uh, inihanda ng pasambap ang uh, respetadong asosasyon ng mga banda sa buong Pilipinas. Ako po ay nagagalak na maging bahagi ng inyong programa at uh, ako po ay na inyong naimbitahan. Uh, karamihan po sa mga bumubuo po ng pasambap ay nakilala ko na bilang hurado sa aking uh, pag-iimbita sa mga hurado sa ating Panagbenga Festival. At isa pong uh, karangalan ang maging bahagi ng inyong programa ngayong gabi. Magbabahagi po ako ng mga uh, ma maikling kasaysayan kung paano nabuo ang Panagbenga. And maybe at the end of the uh, webinar, you'll get to see some videos of uh, some footages. We've missed this festival so much. Uh, it's been uh, two years. This is the second time that we haven't had uh, the Grand Parades, which is uh, the main highlight of the Panagbenga Festival. So without further ado, again, thank you to the organizers of this uh, event tonight. And uh, I hope that you stay with me. I know it's been a long time. Uh, sisikapin natin uh, maging uh, maganda ang ating presentasyon gabi at may kapulutan ng aral para sa ating lahat. Uh, to begin with, I'd like to start the presentation by sharing you some tidbits about the festival and how it came to be. Okay, so uh, uh, here we go. Uh, bangkit, bangkiting ko lang sandali no? yung ating uh, theme song kanina na tinugtog ng banda yun ang panagbenga theme song na ang banda ay nasa pamumuno ni Miss Maravik Makadaig na siya nagtuturo sa St. Louis University sa Baguio Okay Here we go By waiting for the share screen of Mom Bunch for the uh, different audience and tired the world. Panagbenga uh, Festival was composed by the, the our dear Dean Macario Fronda, the late Dean Macario Fronda. Uh, Miss Marivic, si, na, nakakausap mo si Dean, ano? Dean Macario, no? Uh, what, namatay na po siya, sir. No, no, siya po ang dating bandmaster ng St. Louis University. Oh, I see. So, pero nakapag-usap ba kayo? Nag-abot ba kayo o hindi? Yes, sir. She po, she po ang aking bandmaster before. Ah, tapos kayo ang band member pa kayo no? No time na yun. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So naabutan ko pa ang unang panagbenga festival. Ako ay sumasayaw pa sa kalsada noon. Okay. Eh, balak abisado mo. Anyway, ah, yung yung tema, yung tema ng panagbenga theme song, very catchy siya. 
ano ba to original ba to galing ba to sa sa folk song galing ba to sa tribe sa, saan daw nang galing tong tema na to it is an original composition po from the movement of the mountains in the cordilleran so okay. i think ready na si ma'am bunch to share us uh, para uh, po mas ma'am. mabigyan tayo ng liwanag <laughs> Okay po. So yung movement po niya, makikita po natin, pataas pa baba yung tono because it reflects the mountains of the Cordillera region po. Oh, ayun ba yun? Pero okay. listening to the, the, the melody itself, ano, parang talaga nang galing sa tribe yung ano eh, yung, yung tema, no? parang galing sa chant or something. And it's very... Uh, very much parang ifugaw ba yan ifugaw if ifugaw ba yung pinanggaling ano ano uh, actually sir wala pong nabanggit si the late sir Macario Fronda kung galing po ba sa certain tribe or anything pero ito po yung kanyang kwento noon na ito po ay sa movement ng mountains so yun po yung kanyang composition what is one of the most uh, popular theme sa jazz sa Cordillera yung salidumay ano diyan ba yan diyan ba galing yan yes sir it is from the cordillera yung salidumay at meron po tayong iba't ibang version po ng salidumay hindi oh. lang po iisang version and, and is that being sung by different tribes or isang tribe lang ang pinanggalingan na ah uh, sa different tribes po dahil iba-iba po yung kanilang mga version of salidumay but the meaning the meaning of the song pare-pareho din o iba-iba din uh, depende po sa tribe na pinanggalingan depende ng song. Sa tribe. But it, it, what is it used for most of the time? Anong occasion? Uh, meron po kasing mga uh, discussion on uh, like uh, working, on working, kung paano sila nagtatrabaho, ganun po yung sa lyrics niya. Meron din pong mga uh, ibang version like si Filimon, si Filimon ng Salidumay. That's also part. And I'm sure there are a lot more uh, chants or songs na very, very interesting, no? The thing there on Jansa Cordillera. Opo. Marami pong mga uh, chants na uh, nandito sa Cordillera. But then I think uh, not all of these chants are being uh, um, published or nasa libro. Hindi po kilala yung mga ibang chant na mga Cordillera. Hopefully... Uh, we can have the ethnomusicologist who would be putting it into notations para po may mga maipasa pa po sa iba't ibang henerasyon. Actually, sa UP, yung uh, ethn ethnomusicology uh, center nila doon, uh, yun ang ginagawa nila. And uh, they're, they're really sharing the materials. No? Kaya medyo na, 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 na dididink natin yan, na-experience din natin, but not really to the bigger public. Pero, Miss um, Marivic, yung yung ating um, chants no yung mga songs natin meron ba meron ba such thing as sacred very sacred to to the tribes na hindi natin pwedeng gamitin kung saan-saan kasi sa Mindanao ganun eh sa mga tribes no meron sila mga songs or chants or music na hindi hindi pwedeng baguhin or hindi pwedeng gamitin kung saan-saan meron bang ganun sa ano Cordillera. Yes sir, meron din po, hindi po basta-basta nagagamitin. Kailangan pa pong ipaalam at kailangan pong may approval kung gagamitin pong bayan. Hindi po basta-basta. So sir, while waiting for sir for Ma'am Bunch, I would like to share uh, yun pong ating uh, isang output for the pandemic. Ito pong ating uh, ginawa ng isang ng St. Louis University for in preparation po sana ng, pasa, ng ating Panagbenga Festival. So, i-share ko lang po muna yung ating video. This is now the Panagbenga Festival in the New Normal.
Uh, wait lang po. Technical difficulty. Pasensya na po.
So I think Ma'am Bunch is already ready. So let's welcome back Ma'am Bunch Pino. Magandang magandang gabi uli. Pasensya na po dun sa ating uh, technical glitch a while back. Okay. Um, maraming maraming salamat ulit. And uh, let me begin by saying uh, happy panagbenga. Supposedly, this is the time where we close the fireworks uh, for, to culminate the celebration of the Panagbenga Festival. Tonight, what I'm going to share with you is a simple history about the organization. Essentially, the BFFI or the Baguio Flower Festival Foundation operates and organizes the Panagbenga Festival essentially po para ma-boost ang tourism ng Baguio City. Matatandaan po natin uh, nangyari po ang July 1990 earthquake. Uh, Nag-isip po ang uh, private sector at the time ng Baguio City at ng LGU kung paano po ibabangon ang turismo sa Baguio City. Ang vision po ng Panagbenga ay maging isa sa pinakamahusay na festival sa buong Pilipinas. Nagumpisa po ang uh, Panagbenga when uh, Attorney Dami Bangawit, uh, we know him to be the father of Panagbenga, also the lawyer of Zanhe Poro Point Development Corporation and Managing Director for Camp Zanhe, presented po sa Board of Directors ng JPDC ang idea ng pagkakaroon ng Flower Festival. The board led by the BCDA or Basis Conversion Development Authority decided that the festival be held every February. So in 1996, um, Jan Hei po ang initiator po ng festival and uh, the strategy was to present the idea to various sectors of the community. So nandito po ang government, ang education sector, ang business, media, at ang civic organizations. So not only to solicit the support, but also to gather their suggestions and ideas, nagkaroon po ng sharing po ng uh, iba-ibang resources into the project, kasama po ang community. So the Baguio Flower Festival was an idea on its way to becoming a reality. And then uh, the idea fell into the hands of the Secretariat, which was chaired by Attorney Bangawit and manned by the John Hay Poro Point Development staff and volunteers led by then Chief of Staff, Eric Jonathan Picard. So in addition to the Secretariat, they had an advisory group of flower enthusiasts like uh, Mrs. Uh, Rebecca Domogan, the uh, better half of uh, then Mayor Mauricio Domogan, Ms. Uh, Gloria Vergara, the wife of uh, then Congressman Bernardo Vergara, Dr. Julie Cabato, Mr. Willie Magtibay, and Sir Efren Chato. So they began creating the identity for the festival, one that would reflect the history, traditions, and values of the Baguio and the Cordilleras. Its official logo was chosen from the entries to the annual Camp Jan Hay contest. The competition was open to elementary, high school, and college students of Baguio, and its theme revolved around presenting the preserving the environment with a special emphasis on the flowers of Cordillera. So this is uh, basically the uh, representation of sunflowers. It was an entry submitted by a student from Baguio City National High School 
Trisha Tabangin. So, uh, pinili po siya ni uh, ating uh, national artist, Ben Cabrera. The festival theme was composed by Professor Macario Fronda of St. Louis University. To this music was added the rhythm and movements of the Bendian dance. It's an Ibaloy dance of celebration. And the Bendian dance secular movements speak of unity and harmony among the members of the tribe. These are themes that foreshadowed the coming together, the various sectors of the community to bring the flower festival. So taking the lead was then Mayor Mauricio Domogan, House of Representative uh, for the Lone District of Baguio, Bernardo Vergara, and the members of the city council endorsed the festival. They were especially uh, instrumental in facilitating the granting of permits and providing support services that created a safe and secure environment for the festival. While this may seem part of their official duties, the enthusiastic manner in which they did it made all the difference. And then before 1996, the 1997 Baguio Flower Festival becomes officially as Panagbenga. So this is uh, the Kankanae term, meaning uh, a season for blooming and a time for flowering. So the name was suggested by Mr. Ike Pitikan, an archivist and curator of the St. Louis University Museum. So recognizing the commitment to making the festival a tradition, the JPDC board took steps to institutionalize it by establishing the Baguio Flower Festival Foundation to operate, manage, and perpetuate the festival. So these are the current roster of our board of trustees and officers led by our chairman for life, attorney Mauricio Domogan, and then headed by our president, Frederico Alquiroz, Treasurer Ramon Cabrera, Board Secretary Attorney Renato Rendes, assisted by yours truly. And of course, the Board of Trustees, uh, led by uh, Mr. Anthony De Leon, the Executive Committee Chairman, Dr. Julie Cabato, Architect Joseph Alabanza, Reverend Father Gilbert Sales of St. Louis University. Dr. Leonardo Aguinalde of uh, the Academy of uh, University of Cordilleras and our regional director for PIA, Dr. He uh, director Helen Tebaldo. Also from DOT, we have uh, Jovita Ganongan. The schools division headed by Marie Caroline Verano for DepEd and PMA superintendent Major General Ferdinand Cartojano. Mapapansin po natin ang bumubuo ng panagbenga e public and private sector po. Kasi po ang uh, karamihan sa participants po ng ating festival ay binubuo po ng uh, mga eskwelahan, ang mga banda sa mga universidad, kasama po ang PMA, and of course, uh, malaking malaking parte po dito ang uh, SLU, ang St. Louis University, at ang, uh, ang mga original na miyembro po ng uh, BFFI. So kami po yung uh, year-round staff po na nagpapatakbo po ng uh, opisina ng BFFI. So marami pong committee ang bumubuo ng festival. Uh, 
kasama po dito sa mga committees na to ang City Government of Baguio, ang private sector, mga volunteers, ang mga media, ang mga sponsors, at ang ating mga finance professionals. No? Ayan po. In terms of financing, ang binibigay po ng local government ay apat na milyon taon-taon in terms of prices. prices. Um, noong 2020, nang maupo po si Mayor Benjamin Magalong, na-realign po itong budget na ito sa kanyang environmental project. So mula 2020, BFFI na po ang nagpa-finance ng festival na nanggagaling sa kanyang revenue generating activities. So, ang revenue generating activities po dito ay ang uh, Session Road in Bloom, yung Baguio Blooms, yung ating trade fair component. Ito po ang nagtutustos sa gastusin sa mga grand parades, yung subsidy po sa mga Eskwelahan, yung pagkain po ng mga volunteers. Yan po. Ang uh, contribution ng LGU ay ang paggamit ng mga venue. At saka support. So, yan na po ang uh, bagong setup ngayon. Noong uh, magkaroon po ng... Uh, pagkakataon na mag magkaroon ng pagbabago sa pagpapatakbo ng festival, nagumpisa ito sa pagkakaroon ng mga tema. Bago po kasi uh, ako dumating, nagkaroon na po ng changes sa festival. So each year, bago po mag-umpisa, umuupo po lahat ng mga committees para pag-usapan kung ano po ang mga innovation na pwede pong uh, i-introduce sa festival. So, through the years, uh, may mga tema po na na-introduce na magiging uh, mensahe po at uh, campaign ng uh, kabuoan ng festival. So, ito po. I'll just give a short rundown. Hindi hindi po nawawala ang uh, environmental component ng uh, panagbenga lalo na sa mensahe nito. So, over the years, marami na hong naging bisita ang uh, panagbenga kasama na ho dito ang uh, US ambassadors, mga opisyales po ng ating gobyerno. Secretary of Tourism, uh, naimbitahan na po natin yan over the years. Also, um, we've uh, re recently, in 2016, officially naging member na po ang uh, Panagbenga Festival ng International Festival and Events Association. Pagka miyembro ka po ng IPEA, Uh, maaari pong mabigyan ng suporta ang uh, panagbenga in terms of grants, uh, volunteer awards para sa mga volunteers natin, mga resources to upgrade and uh, elevate the standards of the festival. Ayan po. So, noong 2017, Uh, first time pong sumali po ang uh, panagbenga sa presentation ng uh, mang mangyari po ang uh, Miss Universe sa regional leg nito sa buong Baguio. So marami pong uh, nagparticipate na mga banda dito na nagpakita ang gilas at ng kanilang galing uh, habang nagparada po ang mga kandidata ng uh, 65th Miss Universe. Thank you. 
Yung ating uh, February 2020 edition ng Panagbenga, ito yung uh, dumating yung uh, malungkot na balita ng uh, mai-report po ang unang case ng COVID sa bansa. Minabuti po ng ating buhitihing mayor na ikansela ang uh, festivities para sa safety po ng ating uh, publiko. So ngayon po, dalawang taon na na wala pong panagbenga. Ito po ang mga naging partners ng Panagbenga through the years. Babanggitin ko na lang po ang mga schools, high school, elementary, Department of Tourism. Of course, ang St. Louis University, napakawalang malaking uh, uh, role po nila. No? At saka ng Philippine Military Academy. Andyan po ang Trimedia. Panagbenga Cultural Committee, uh, binubuo po yan ng mga professional sa creative uh, community na tumutulong sa atin sa creative aspect ng festival. Nandyan po ang ating kapulisan, ang mga iba nating government agencies, andyan po ang Hotel and Restaurant Association of Baguio, at saka Baguio Conventions and Visitors Bureau. Ang Baguio Tourism Office, ito po mga Deltans at volunteer groups. Um, just a quick trivia. We accredit about 5,000 volunteers every year to assist us in marshalling the festival. Kasi po yung uh, crowd po na dumarating taon-taon uh, kapag festival period, napakalaki po. So ito po ang uh, isa sa malaking uh, task namin sa sekretaryat ang mag-accredit po ng napakaraming volunteer para masiguro po na organized po ang ating uh, conduct ng festival. Of course, we have our sponsors. We have the World Flower Council, the judges, and uh, several professionals in the industry who assist us. For the traditional events of Panagbenga, we have uh, five weeks all in all uh, average every year to prepare for composed of the following. So, bandang November, December, we typically launch already the festival with the annual theme and logo. Pagdating dyan, uh, sunod-sunod na po yung preparasyon By February 1, we already hold our opening day parade and then the opening of the Baguio Blooms Landscaping Exposition and Exhibition. Isinasabay din po sa Panagbenga ang celebration ng Spring Festival in partnership with our Chinese community in Baguio. Kasi po yung buong calendar po, ina-accredit po natin ng lahat ng events na, na nangyayari sa buong Baguio during February and the first week of March. During second Sunday in February, we hold the Let a Thousand Flowers Bloom. This is basically an open painting exhibition. So kahit ilang taong ka na, ano man ang edad mo, maaari kang sumali dito, bibigyan ka ng uh, sekretariat ng painting kit and paint away. We also have the Panagbenga Kite Flying Challenge, uh, the Panagbenga Cultural Show, which is participated by the various uh, universities, and then the Handog ng Panagbenga sa Pamilya Baguio, where we have our charitable events like yung mga medical mission, yung mga iba pang activities para sa pamilya. For our traditional events happening on the third week of February, we include the celebration of the PMA alumni homecoming. We also had, for the first time last 2019, the Panagbenga Cultural Competitions. On the fourth week or fourth Saturday of the month, 
that's when we hold the Grand Street Dance Parade for the elementary, high school, and open category. Diyan sa open category, nasasali yung mga taga-ibang uh, lugar, katulad ng Pangasinan, dito sa bandang Ilocos. Yan. Mga banda dyan, dyan po uh, sa kategorya na yan nabibilang. Sa fourth week naman, uh, dito rin sa Sunday na ito, kinaganap ang Grand Float Parade. So magkasunod na gabi po yan. Diyan po, mayroong small and big float category. So right after the float parade, we close the session road to set up now the week-long session road in bloom. Sa Grand Float Parade, we average every year about 25 to 30 floats. Uh, yung mga kumpanya na ninanais na sumali ay uh, naghahanda ng uh, kanilang entrada. Wala pong bayad ang pagsali sa competition na ito. Um, they spend about 250,000 to half a million per float just to create a presentation for an entire show of floats for that day. Dito po sa Grand Street Dance Parade, we average about 10 entries for the elementary, for the high school around 6 to 8 entries, and for the open around about the same amount. So all in all, around 20 to 25 contingents po. Okay. For the last week of the festival, which is typically the first week of March, that's when we have the session road in bloom. Ito na po yung trade fair component niyan uh, where there is an exposition and exhibit of uh, local products and uh, creative uh, products in Baguio, mga pasalubong, pagkain, we have entertainment for an entire week. We have concerts and other shows during that week. Nadala na po namin sa Panagbenga ang uh, uh, UST Philharmonic uh, Orchestra. Uh, sana sa susunod uh, makapagdala pa kami ng maraming banda. Ang aming uh, pagsara ng festival, yung nabanggit ko kanina, sa pagsasara ng Session Road in Bloom, nagkakaroon po kami ng uh, Grand Fireworks Display. So, limang stations po yan all over the city of Baguio. So, at around before 8 o'clock, we start the fireworks to culminate the entire five weeks festival. Of course, we also have other community-led events that we support and help promote during the entire festivities. Among our other services, we have the crowd control, yung nabanggit ko kanina. We have the environmental community that takes care of the cleanliness and sanitation for the duration of the festival. We have media accreditation to accommodate hobbies, vloggers, mga photojournalists. We uh, accommodate radio coverage, print media, and of course, yung ating mga major TV networks. So ito po yung uh, uh, kabuuan ng, uh, ng presentation, yung theoretical aspect ng uh, festival. I'll be showing some videos for your appreciation which took place in the past three years. Okay, so please stand by.
while waiting for the videos that will be shared to us by Mam Vanj, uh, please take note that you can ask questions on our Facebook Live. Thank you very much. Okay na ba? Yes ma'am, paki-share na po. Ito na po. Ay. Bakit ay?
Okay, uh, mukhang medyo inaayos pa ang ating uh, share na video ni Miss Branch. And let's hope that this... I don't know why it's... Uh, I don't know why it's not showing... It's not sharing in the screen. Eh. But it's playing on mine. It's playing on mine. Uh, Ma'am Branch, try mo pong play muna bago share screen daw po. Copy. Siguro I'll probably share the link na lang so you can open. Okay po. Mamaribik, wala ka bang ano, video ng ano? Sino siya? Ito na po. Ito uh, na po. Sinear niyo yung Ma'am Bunch. I-try kong... Uh, uh, mag... Kasi yung Facebook mo. Panagbinga is an annual flower festival celebrated every February which takes place in Baguio City, Philippines. The term Panagbinga comes from a kantana term meaning season of blooming, a time for flowering. It lasts over a month and flourishes through community involvement. The Baguio Flower Festival Foundation operates, organizes, and manages the Panagbinga Festival to boost the tourism of Baguio and the rest of the Cordilleras. It highlights the various events, exhibitions, and activities that promote the history, traditions, and values of Baguio and the Cordilleras, which is sustained in an earth-friendly manner.
explosion of creativity in the new team cooperation, children from the city schools join their elders in dancing the entire parade route, carved as flowers of every shape and hue through the Grand Street Dance Parade. Since it all began, the Baguio Flower Festival continues to be inspired by beauty and nurtured by nature, with new events serving as opportunities to enrich the Panagbenga spirit. Every event infuses the festival with dynamism, perspective and character, as well as the unique traditions of each group that makes itself a part of it. Collectively, they animate the festival, giving it color, spice, substance, and an identity that reflects the riches of Baguio's own culture. Tourist attractions drawing more than a million visitors to Baguio City. From its humble beginnings in 1996, it has now become one of the most organized festival in the Philippines. The much anticipated Grand Float Parade opens with a presentation of floats along Session Road, while marching bands play lively tunes that sets the mood. Civic organizations, the media, Volunteers and other stakeholders pitch in, providing manpower, facilities to make the festival truly a community activity. is the first in the country to become a member of the International Festival and Events Association. It is the premier association supporting and enabling festival and event professionals worldwide. Baguio, in partnership with the Baguio Flower Festival Foundation, carries on the time-honored traditions with the 
community's involvement and participation as its life force. Okay, so napanood po natin ang ating uh, panagbenga. It is a video presentation shared to, uh, to us by Ma'am Banj. Okay, so Ma'am Banj, yes. paon yes. na po ako ng meron po tayong question dito from Marco Arellano. Sure ang po. tanong po niya is, gaano kahaba ang parade sa panagbenga? Well, we usually start the parade at around 8 a.m on time yan, natatapos yan bago mag-lunch. 12 noon. Before 12 noon, we we have improved over the years. In my first year, maabot kami hanggang alas stress. Until 2019, we were able to finish the parade before noon time. Uh, 11.30 po yung aming uh, bagong record. And another question po, galing din kay Marco Arellano. May concert band po ba sa event? Yes, we do. We have invited, uh, of course, the SLU, uh, SLU band, you know, their orchestra to perform. We host several concerts, inviting a lot of bands. PMA as well as uh, if you're familiar with the this band from Pangasinan um, University of Luzon nagparticipate din po sila hanggat uh, marami kami pwedeng maimbitahan magiimbita kami it would have been a grand celebration in 2020 kung hindi lang na postpone because of the pandemic Okay, so far, Sir Bombi, wala na pong question dito sa ating Facebook Live. I'm still waiting for others to post their respective questions. And may, kong, may question po kayo, Sir Bombi. Um, yes, I, I've written uh, several questions, pero siguro hindi ko naman tatanungin lahat ito. No? And um, um, ilang years na ang panagbenga? 22 years? 20... Last year was our 25th. 25th, This okay. would have been our 26th. Yes. Out of the 25 years of Panagbenga, which one do you think was the best year? The best? 2019 for me. We get better every year. But I love every festival that uh, that happened during my, my time as Secretariat. Okay. Uh, with, with, with this festival, um, I know this is very beneficial to to the Cordillera region mm -hmm. in, in so many terms. Um, but what is the most important um, development that it has produced, this, this uh, project of Panagbenga? We support our creative economy. Uh, let's remember uh, Baguio is a UNESCO creative city. So it's a member of the creative cities network. And we'd like to keep it that way by supporting our creative economy. So we have a lot of uh, musicians, uh, event professionals. We have a lot of artists that are uh, relying on the support of the festival to boost their uh, business, their crafts. So malaming industriya po ang uh, nakikinabang sa pagkakaroon ng uh, panagbenga. Yes, uh, it seems that this is the melting point of uh, of uh, our culture. And, That's right. Um, uh, 
uh, it was mentioned earlier that uh, Panag Panagbenga has a cultural show in its in its uh, event. Yes, sir. In its uh, schedule of events. And, yes, sir. Um, uh, it, that struck me in a, in a manner wherein uh, this is really a good thing for mm -hmm. for the festival to be able to to promote and preserve our 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 culture, culture. especially yes. in the Cordill Cordillera area. Right. And uh, yes, sir. that's one good thing. And of course, preservation is not, not is, is not just performance. It's not just performing, but it's also a whole a lot of things. Like it, it has to be part of of one's life. It has to be part of a life view. But unfortunately, unfortunately, in in, in terms of a musical industry, we are somehow losing. Uh, Craftsmen who, who who produce instruments, especially from from the Cordillera region, mm -hmm. like uh, mm -hmm. the gangsa. How many mm -hmm. how many are making gangsa anymore? I, I think it's just Benny Saturno, Saturno Bayon, the maker of um, instruments in in Baguio. And uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm sure the gangsa. I, I heard through our, our history that the gangsa was was a multifunctional instrument. Mm -hmm. It was not just uh, something to to make a sound. It was used to warn other other uh, members of the tribe of mm -hmm. uh, whatever danger there is or arrival of certain dignitaries for them. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, also used functionally as as where you 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 get water, where, where you drink water from. It's used as, mm -hmm. as a dish, as a plate for your mm -hmm. for your meals and. And can be also used as, as a hat to protect your head. And at that time, I'm sure that this instrument, this gangsa, was not even being sold or was not even looked at as something to to be mm -hmm. owned until it was promoted as an instrument. But then after that, up to this time, um, very few gangsas are being made, and they're very expensive already because you know, yes, right. of, of the of the demand and the supply. Yes, and. Um, is there a way? I, I, I'm, I'm sure that um, Cordillera is also thinking of how to to promote these uh, instruments. Sir, um, we have a Panagbenga cultural competition, which is separate from the uh, elementary, high school, and the open category. We hold this event separately, which uh, include the various tribes and organizations in Baguio and Benguet which make use of the gangsa and other percussive instruments. Kaya hindi naman po nawawala sa panagbenga yung paggamit ng gangsa because of that. Uh -huh. yeah, we that's... make sure na merong... Kasi dati, nakasama sila sa open category. E, iba ho yung instrumento nila kumpara doon sa mga banda. Hindi pwedeng... Uh, hindi ka siya, kasi siya comparable kaya hiniwalay na namin yung kategory ng mga tribes. So, lahat ng nagko-compete dito sa cultural competition uh, should be should belong to the any of the five tribes in the Cordillera. So, are there still uh, instruments being made? I mean, Yes, sir. It's commercial. Meron po. Meron pa rin? Meron po. In fact, yung mga participants sa competition na to nag-average po yan ng 60 to 100 per contingent and they make use of the gangsas may mga nagsusupply tayo from asin and uh, yun po yung huli kong information where they make yeah yeah it's good to promote that also metal uh, crafts together with our culture kasi pag nawala yung instruments natin uh, medyo mababawasan hindi na mawawala yung kultura natin nandun pa rin yun ano? mm -hmm. kaya lang pero parang mababawasan siya because these are instrumental mm -hmm. in, in promoting our culture also yeah. Um, yung flowers natin are there during 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 the panagbenga? Do they come from Cordillera only, or are there flowers coming from other places also? We usually have suppliers from Atok Benguet, Bahong La Trinidad. Yung iba nag order ng special orchids sa sa south sa bandang Cavite. Pero mostly dito po para fresh yung ating uh, ginagamit sa mga floats. So, uh, yes, uh, 
Now we, we know that the the Panagbenga we, we have experienced it to be a grand juice festival. Um, now that we have two years uh, without the Panagbenga and people are really clamoring for it, and I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that the next one will be very, very grand <laughs> and very exciting. Now, uh, <laughs> but since uh, then, during our uh, situation right now in our new normal, are there <laughs> any plans? for Panagbenga to continue even uh, during uh, social distancing and lockdowns? Are there any other means and ways of uh, doing the project or going on with the project? Well, for the Panagbenga this year was postponed. Yung tone down events were postponed because the priority at the moment is to roll out the vaccination program of the city. Let's wait uh, for further announcement from the mayor. Uh, regarding these tone down events after the vaccination program has been rolled out. I'm sure there's something uh, to look forward to. Ang mahalaga po ay eh, mauna po munang unahin natin ang safety ng ating community at ng ating mga residents para mas magiging masaya po ang celebration ng mga susunod na festival uh, nang wala tayong inaalala o pangamba na may uh, magkasakit. All right, uh, that's that's good. I mean, that's a good uh, mm. priority. But uh, on top of that, I think uh, there's still means and ways of being able to promote uh, Panagbenga. Yes, online. we have virtual executions. Yeah. We promote destinations in Baguio and Benguet, uh, places of interest, as far as holding internal or domestic uh, small events like landscaping in our community. We have small competitions for the residents. Yeah, a big a big portion of the Panagbenga festival are the competitions. Am I right? Yes, that's right, and, sir. And is this is it possible to hold these competitions online under Panagbenga? Yes, uh, pwede naman po. Ang inaaral lang po kasi natin yung kasi karamihan po ng demographics ng ating competitors mga bata, so mga estudiante, and most of them are at home right now. So, tinitignan natin yung aspetong yun, pero mas uh, we look forward to right now is yung the day where they can really perform again on the streets. But uh, for now, uh, we will stand by for further announcement for virtual executions. We just need to complete the rollout of the vaccination program. Okay. Parang mas masaya ang celebration kapag uh, masiguro nating safe na po ang ating mga Comunidad. Any time frame on that? Uh, we'll announce. We'll announce on our social media pages. Hopefully, itong summer. Hopefully, within the year. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, nakakamiss talaga eh. <laughs> Grabe. I mean, you know, uh, yes, a lot of people are looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. And it's a That's lot right, of fun. Sir. It's mm -hmm. so enjoyable mm -hmm. to be in Panagbenga. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can watch it online. Sure. Mm -hmm. But it's different when you're there. Next yes, right. Really Iba po yung ano, adrenaline oh. by being there in the center of it all. And, and you can see that how how people work together of different classes, yes, sir. of different stat yes, sir. status. That's yes. right. They okay. can work together for something really very successful. Congratulations to Panagbenga. Thank and you, sir. You, of course, Miss Vange. So <laughs> it's always a, no, a oh. team effort, sir. Miss Marivic knows that. <laughs> She's part of our Panagbenga Cultural Committee, so it's never an achievement by one person. Uh, we're just the people who help make things happen. Hmm. It's really the community who make make this happen. Yes, and, and I'm sure that what, what you've been doing are, are contagious, and I hope that this catches, <laughs> catches on with, with other communities as well in mm -hmm. other parts of the country. And Thank you, sir. the world. Yes. And... Thank uh, you, sir. Wow, and what happens to all the flowers after the <laughs> competition, after the uh, festival? Well, most of the flowers, uh, we ask them to be donated uh, so that it can be used further for for gardens. Kaya yung isa sa mga guidelines po ng float, nakalagay po siya sa uh, container. May aspeto yon na pwedeng gamitin pang muli at itanim. Pero meron po talagang aspeto, yung mga naka-floral foam. Uh, pwede mo na lang siyang ilagay sa vas uh, for office consumption and uh, repurposed for other 
uses. Wow, that's very good. I mean, mm. it's so. <laughs> I can't I, I can't put any words into it, but mm. it, it's a it's a big 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 uh, project that uh, you have mm. Uh, mm. on your on your shoulders. And congratulations and thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for having me for, for this festival. Wow, mm -hmm. and uh, and I'm sure a lot of uh, uh, towns and cities will catch on with this. Thank you, sir. Thank you, uh, Miss Marivic. Are there any more questions or uh, comments? Far, sir, wala na po tayong comments on our Facebook Live. Uh, the question of Sir Ermin Antonio a while ago regarding the piece, the music piece, I think we had answered that before the sharing of Mam Bunch a while ago. Mm -hmm. So, yun lang po. All right, uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa pasambap sa inyong uh, imbitasyon na maging bahagi ng inyong programa ngayong gabi. We hope that you somehow uh, got a piece of uh, glimpse of the festival, what makes it uh, tick and what makes it one of the grandest festivals in the Philippines. And we look forward to the participation of your association in one way or another, maybe holding the baton for a future band to participate in Panagbenga. And uh, music plays a lot of... Uh, uh, has a very big role in the festival. So we hope that you will continue making music and keeping uh, people hopeful. And, uh, you know, music is the language of the soul. Eh? So it's the language of our nation. So keep making music. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Vange. And thank you also for guesting with us tonight. And, You're welcome, uh, sir. Uh, yes, a lot of ideas do uh, arise out of this uh, uh, webinar um, um, we, we will ask you to stay on for a while after our uh, session for a picture taking and uh, for now um, again thank you very much not only to Miss Vange but also to the whole uh, committee and all those involved in Panagbenga festival and uh, of course uh, this is uh, a pride of not only the Cordillera but of the Philippines as well as this is very well known uh, throughout the whole world uh, as a grandiose festival indeed and uh, of course uh, our webinar schedule we have come up with uh, several series we have the philippine festival series which is uh, the first one is right now as uh, the panagbenga and then we have the maestro series when we will guest uh, some conductors and music directors and the toym series um, which will be guested by um, our awardees of uh, the outstanding young men and many of them are musicians so these are the series that is um, scheduled in our future webinar and and here is the detail of our schedule uh, March 13 with Ato Lucas a cellist and a conductor also and uh, March 20 the Tagum Festival March 27, Gerard Salonga, April 10, Chito Sakdala, April 17, Chino Toledo, April 24, Dean Raul Sunico, um, May 1, Ray Abeliana, May 8, Tony Meige, May 15, San Isidro Laborator Fiesta, it's a festival again, and uh, we have Coke Bolipata, and Grace Nono on June 12, so there are some open slots as well, and you can contact uh, Pasambap if you are interested in doing or guesting in our webinar. And uh, our future speakers are here. Uh, we have um, a lineup of uh, future speakers, and uh, this hasn't changed since the last uh, few, uh, uh, several months. And uh, those who would like to to be part of our webinar and and witness and watch our uh, workshops, uh, you can see them through. If you ch tune in, just tune in to Pasambap Live. And this is where you will catch our um, online workshops. If you're not able to, to, to catch on or if you're late, you can still follow them in uh, our YouTube account, which is Pasambap Banda. Just search for Pasambap Banda. And when, you're, when you are in our account already, just click on the playlist right here. You see the circle here, yellow circle? Click on the playlist so that uh, you'll easily find what you're searching for as they are in folders like we have the uh, folder of the competitions and the serenatas performances and um, 
uh, and the workshops okay the, they are assorted in the folders and of course um, this is one of the projects that we have been uh, promoting not only in Pasambap for the whole community in, in, in the whole of the Philippines and these are what we call the virtual serenata and this uh, virtual serenata each individual or each musician records his own uh, video and submits it to be edited and combined as here. There you are. So um, we hope that a lot more would uh, go into it and would do this uh, virtual uh, collaborations as is our new normal performances already. And of course, be a member of Pasampap. Just submit your name, location, profile, history, and you will be uh, known in the whole Pasampap community. And this is where we also uh, gain our friendship, teamwork, and unity. And uh, of course, we can share our knowledge, techniques, and learn experience and learn from the experiences of our colleagues here in Pasampap. And uh, we also tend to get support from our co-members as we borrow materials and even manpower and any resources that we have to be able to to uh, develop our musicianship. And of course, this is also where we are able to achieve some education and and opportunities in livelihood. And of course, and uh, once again, we introduce to you Pasambap Facebook group. Remember, if you're going to search for Pasamba Facebook group, always include official. Pasamba official. That is our official Facebook group because a lot of uh, groups are, are uh, imitating and, uh, the, the, our Pasamba uh, Facebook group. And there's the link below. You can copy that, you can copy that and uh, copy paste the link so that it would be easier for you to find our Pasamba official. And thank you very much to our officers, Sir Rolf Campo, Vice President of Pasamba, Ariel Constantino, our Secretary, Dr. Paul Achenza, our Treasurer, Ms. Marivic Makadek, the Auditor, Saturnino Chamson, our Public Relations Officer. And these officers are really very hardworking and uh, uh, have uh, the, 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 the benefit of uh, being able to, to promote and develop our uh, music industry. And, and to assist our musicians as well. Once again, maraming salamat po sa inyo, sa inyong pagsubaybay. Uh, Napaka-exciting na po na iba pa mga darating na mga ating um, events, ating um, online workshop. Ingat-ingat po tayo. God bless and good night.